Hey there, we got another little video in store for you today, but that wouldn't have been possible without the one and only Monster Legends. Monster Legends is an awesome free to play battle RPG mobile game that'll put your strategy skills to the test. But don't worry, it's not like a school test. It's like a fun one. In this game, you can collect over 900 monsters, and there are new ones coming out every week. You can also breed them to create cool new species, and you definitely don't want to miss out on the chance to obtain super special monsters only available in the game for a limited time. You'll be leveling up your monsters and boosting their powers with runes, relics, and talents to gain an advantage in the battles ahead. But your ultimate challenge is creating the best team and putting your skills to the test by battling other monster masters in real-time live duels or in multiplayer mode, so you can earn trophies, win rewards, and fight for glory. Also, Monster Legends just launched their newest era in the game, called the Blossom Era, focused on the awakening of the forces of nature. Right now, if you download the game using my link in the description or the QR code on the screen, you'll get 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster, Kaori. This is a limited time offer, so support the show, support Monster Legends, download the game now, and claim the rewards that'll give you a head start and speed up your leveling process. Happy hunting, and now, on to the video. What a magnificent avian. An outstanding specimen. You're beautiful, aren't you? You are. It's just a shame for you. You happen to be made of meat gold. Oh my god! Oh my... I did... I really did not expect that to happen. It's gonna be okay. Everything... Everything's gonna be in time. Ah, fried chicken. A delicacy loved the world over. I love it, you love it. It's the only thing that'll literally sell itself. That's right, people will give you their hard-earned money and all you have to do is make it for them. No advertising necessary. But this is America after all. And where there's a marketing budget, they'll find a way. And on that very topic, no one's got deeper pockets than the unrivaled king of the coop, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And KFC, uh, to market their product, they have made some seriously weird stuff over the years. Like such classics as a Lifetime original movie starring Mario Lopez as Colonel Sanders. A video game console that never came out that was meant to keep your chicken warm while you played or cause a house fire or something, I don't know. And who among us could forget about that time they made a Colonel Sanders striptease for moms on Mother's Day? I hear you're the best mom in the world. Well, what do you think, Boris? You did not have to do that. You knew you did not have to do that. How could you have done that? Can you live with yourself? What you've gone and done, look what you've gone and done here. For God's sake, you're a bunch of fucking degenerates. And of course, to round it all out, there's retro games. We, Gen Z, boomers. We gotta sell chicken to these demographics. Make them fight. <laughs> oh, dude, all right. We got all the time. You don't have all the time. You're already losing, pal. You're the one running out of time. Ah, oh, well. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But in their quest for raising chicken awareness, in their blind dash towards the forbidden fry, something went very, very wrong. That's right. I regret to inform you that KFC has officially gone down the chicken hole. Excuse me? A mini-series on the topic of conspiracy theories? Uh, KFC, do better. I ordered chicken, okay? Not a side of misinformation. Where is Snopes? So basically, for the purposes of advertising, KFC for one of their YouTube channels made a mini-series on conspiracy theories that they then called KFC Mysteries, which why not just call it KFC Conspiracies? And uh, based on the view counts here, you can pretty much see no one has watched through them, even though uh, they've been out for over two years. And uh, they're right there on the timeline, sandwiched between videos with way higher views. So I don't know why no one's watched this, but I gotta tell you, it's an untapped gold mine. Essentially, the format is uh, each episode, they have two people with supposedly differing opinions on certain controversial topics, like Flat Earth versus Hollow Earth. And as you can see, it's even got the little warning box <laughs> down below there, which to me personally is oddly reminiscent of the old explicit content warning from the 90s. You know, basically it's just a symbol that means, hey, the dope shit that'll make your grandma have a stroke at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Yeah, it's, it's all in here. That's what you're looking for. What even is a hollow earth? I've never heard of that one. How many more of these freaking earth shape theories you psychos gonna come up with? What's next? We're gonna get isosceles triangle earth? The hollow earth is a concept proposing that the planet earth is entirely hollow or contains a substantial interior space. 
Well, if true, you know, that shouldn't be too hard to test. We can do it right now. Let's put this one to bed, huh? All right, all you Hollow Earthers out there, time to put your theory to the test. All you need for this experiment is a handy dandy oversized sewing needle and a earth. Kind of cringe you didn't think to do this, by the way. Kind of obvious, but let's see what happens. Oh crap, they were right. So strap in, grab a drink, a drumstick, and a tinfoil hat. Cause we're going down the chicken hole. <coughs> what the fuck, dude? <coughs> Unless you're getting flirty or something, I wouldn't do that again. Some of the world's greatest mysteries include the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, were they real? What really goes on in the Bermuda Triangle, but more importantly, how did I get all the way up here on this chair by myself? Am I small or is the table big? Who is this guy exactly? He seems like he's got an awful lot of uh, authority over at this company. Uh, he looks like a bootleg James Corden to me. And I'm pretty sure James Corden is already a couple bootlegs down himself. Just for brevity's sake, from now on, I'll be referring to you, sir, as James Cordon Blue, based on the wildly popular food dish, Chicken Cordon Blue. See, that's it right there, everyone knows that. I don't need to explain that, and that's you. You're James Cordon Blue. By the way, can I just say, this guy must seriously know how to sell fried chicken, because apparently, this ain't his first rodeo, okay? <laughs> they had him go to a hipster pheromone party once in London, where he sniffed soiled clothing and almost actually vomited multiple times. <laughs> That's not even funny. Come and get it! What are the KFC 11 herbs and spices? I have tried everything in my power to get KFC to tell me what the 11 herbs and spices are. But at this point, they pretty much just won't let me back in the building. I've gotten answers like, who are you? This is corporate. What do you mean, the secret recipe? No, we're not gonna give that to you. Who are you? It's been tough. So, KFC have changed the game and they've sent me to meet some people with their very own mysteries and try to get them talking. KFC have tried to placate me by putting me in this chair and just saying, I don't know, talk to some people. Go do your thing, we'll build you a set. It'll be, it'll be great, trust me. From crop circles to secret societies and many other mysteries. What does it say on his bucket? Fried chicken solves most problems. All right, fair bet. Let's give it a try. Then why am I still here? I've been sent to try and find out if these people can find a common ground which leads to the truth. Yeah, I'm sure that's where we're gonna end up, the truth. Hi, uh, my name is Bitu Thomas. And my title is Non-Believer in Simulation, okay? That's what I go by. You can call me what you want, but that's the official title. I am from East London and I believe that life is not a simulation, mainly because uh, we are now in a technological phase or something that I personally call a digital era. Whoa! You coined that yourself? Is that, have you copyrighted that? Call the anthropologists, update the lexicons. It's like if you were living amongst like a modern day Socrates, would you know? If you were, if Jesus were among you, would you know? Or would you just like put him on a cross and nail him there? Like statistically, yeah, you would have been one of the crucifiers. And I believe that in the next hundred years, man would find something else and jump on top of that. Yeah, but what does that have to do with simulation though? Let's break down what she said here. We're not in a simulation. We're in the personally coined digital age and man's gonna find something else to jump on top of. Need a trampoline? That's a proper thesis for non-simulation theory, so I can, like, I can get it. <laughs> you guys, can you help me out? What does it mean? What does she mean? Just hurry, because they're watching. They're going to know. They're going to see I have my weakness. How does that relate to the simulation thing? Uh, my name is Luca. I'm from Bristol, and I believe that the world is a simulation. Because look at me. I'm, I pretty much can only come out of like a Bethesda video game uh, character creator. First things first. Bucket or burger? Bucket. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, bucket. Oh, she said bucket. What about you? A burger. He's a burger man. He likes a burger. He's a burger man. I don't know which one of these mincing things that I would like. Oh. Fillet or zinger? It's a zinger. Zinger? Zinger. You're a zinger as well? I like a zinger. She's a zinger girl. Zinger. This is a zinger. Oh, I'm out of breath from doing it. If it doesn't get in the cut, just show it. Just show it here. That's what I'm out of breath from doing. Just did it a second ago. But look at my form. If it's in the cut, that's great. But if it's not, I want it here. Cause look at that form. 
Bones or boneless? Bones. Yeah? Yeah. Boneless. Yeah, I don't I, understand it either. Yeah. She's fucking weird, right? And when I drove her to the patent office to copyright her thing, she kept like doing this weird thing with her lips. Like, I don't like her. I eat the bones as well. <laughs> you eat the bones? <laughs> you eat the bones? You don't eat the whole bone, do you? Not the whole bone, right? I mean, you eat the bones as well? I do, I, I crunch and bite it. <laughs> Who does that? Eat the bones? You can do that? You can just eat chicken bones? I've never seen someone just be like, eating their drumstick and they'll be like, oh, I'm getting to the good part. Yeah, I can understand the um, gristle at the top and that sort of thing, but not the actual bone, surely not the... I, I, I do eat the bone. Good. I've always eaten the bone. Always. Always. Read my bone crunching lips. I eat the bone. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's the end of those questions. Wait. You're gonna make a mockery of me now? That's the way this is going? You know, this could very easily have been one of your bones. I okay. am a big believer that Darwin's uh, theory of evolution yeah. um, is the right way to go about it. I believe that humans are all part of the survival for the fittest. Our brain is one of those most amazing organs that cannot be replicated because of the neurons and the synapses that it forms every day. What if everything you just said, uh, like everything, all that stuff you just said is also inside the simulation. Checkmate, Brainiac! You're telling me you seriously fell for the evolution simulation? Uh, does this look like it turns into that? A little common sense, B2. If you can simulate every single reality and everything, you can tell where the stock's gonna go, you can tell what country's gonna do what and when, they're gonna pour enough money into it that we'll end up with powerful computers that can do the simulation. But that's, that's nothing to do with the simulation. That's, that would still be outside the simulation. You're talking about making a simulation inside this reality, but this is simulation two, or what you talking about? You talking about anything? Are you talking about anything? You think artificial intelligence are gonna take over, no, but- not at all. No, didn't say it, 100% no. That's zero on the meter from one to 10. No, I didn't do that, no, that's not me, no. I mean, maybe. AI will not take over, because there's a chance we are already AI. You see, the thing with your evolution thing. I can hear that face he's making. It's really pissing me off, I'm not gonna lie. And that's exactly what evolution does. That's why we end up with such weird animals like the barrel eye fish, where you can see its eyes through its head. Is that the one with the thing? Is that the one with the thing? That's an anglerfish. That's an anglerfish. I gotta appreciate that move, though. He really committed. He's like, we talking about this guy? That the guy we talking about? No, no. I could have sworn it was this guy. What about emotions like love, hate, disgust? I don't think you can ever get a robot or you know anything that's artificial to have emotions. Oh, you can get a robot to hate. It's, it's gotta be like the simplest thing. It's like two steps. You'll never be a dancer. You're just gonna follow in your mother's footsteps and be an alcoholic. Further, I mean, this thing of emotions and stuff, they're, they can be reduced down to just probabilities. Yeah, like if I punch you in the face, that's gonna be like a 60% chance you're gonna be pissed at me. Uh, if I bang your mom, that's a pretty big one. That's like a 93% chance you're gonna be pissed at me. Uh, accidentally running over your dog. I mean, that's like a 50-50, cause I mean, I didn't mean to do it. We go to um, Schrodinger's cat, right? So that's the theory, there's, there's something in a box, it's a cat and there's some radioactive waste inside the box. And until you open the box, you don't know if the cat's alive or dead. And until you open the box, it's both. You've got oh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was dead the whole time. I, I didn't feel it moving for a while, to be honest. Is what I did illegal? Let's go on to the next question. Is the whole universe simulated, or is it just our planet? It's probably just our planet. I mean, based on my best guesswork, which I brought with me, so you could see, you could follow my train of thought here with my data that I've laid out. Honestly, when you, when you look at it like this, I mean, I don't even need to say anything. It's pretty obvious. That's like, um, that's like, that's another theory, isn't it? <laughs> now, brace yourselves, everyone. If some, if you can't see it, it's not there until you yeah. want to see it. No. Even if there was a nuclear bomb or whatever, there would still be humans hiding in some caves or underground that would still be able to come out. So there's also the, the conscience that we have. There'll be somebody there that's good enough to be like, what we're doing is wrong. Oh, honey, B2, honey, come here. You're, she's a doll. She's sweet. 
I can't tell her. Who's going to tell her? So we haven't had a big world war since 1945, if I'm right. And, mm -hmm. and the people with power don't want to have a world war. That one didn't age well. It's currently Friday, March 4th. You can see there. So, uh, might be an outdated take by the time this video comes out. Just say it. Who do you believe is simulating us? If I had to just chuck a guess out there, and this is going to sound totally crazy, there's a thing called carcinization, where life forms from the bottom of the sea, from things that live on beaches to, to things that live in caves, over years have all ended up being essentially the same thing. And that same thing is a crab, a king crab. Crab. Crab? You just say crab? King crab. King crab? You say crab. What the? What? Bro, this video has been a trip. This is all to sell fried chicken, just so we can remind ourselves. I don't claim to know God's plan, but in the end, I'm just saying I am it. What are you gonna do realistically? How are you gonna get in here? I'm snipping away, I got a pinch. Sometimes I got one big claw. There's not, you can't even get in here. Anima Royal, touch me? You're gonna be executed by the crab court. You're gonna do nothing. You're gonna do nothing. I know, what are you, what's your plan? I, not what you, not what you say you're gonna do. What are you really gonna do? I'm in the sand. I'm in the sand where I re-emerged. And that's you gone. That is it, the end of this episode. But it's not. But it wasn't just it. There's another video. Okay, you know, that was fun. Uh, we're really learning a lot here today, but I still think there's a ways to go. Uh, so how about we do this one? Secret societies, who's really pulling the strings? Let's find out. My name is Derek Brahma, I'm from London. Derek Brahma, anti-elitist. <laughs> and I believe that there is a group of people that is controlling the world through the use of technology. What? That's crazy! Hello, my name is Charmaine. I'm from Lowestoft, and I believe in the power of the Freemasonry secret society and their role in the move towards a one world government, a one world economy, and eventually a one world religion. What? That's crazy! Jesus, Charmaine is like twice the size of David. That's a big woman! And Cordon Bleu's just back there like... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Will Richards and we are here today with KFC to look into some mysteries. And you guys have got some strange opinions on... You got some fucked up weird opinions on... What is it again? Hurry up. I got a show to do. Well, it's how technologically people are controlling our lives. Okay. Hey Siri, are you controlling our lives? I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Do you have an answer for anything? Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Nah, you're all good. I'm not sure I understand. And you have something similar but slightly opposing, which is? Freemasonry. Which seems a mystery, but there's a lot of reality behind it. Ladies first, Charmaine, I'm going to ask you. Are you ready? Of course. Bones or boneless chicken? Definitely bones. You're really gonna just drop a straight up definitely bones when you're running that accent? Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a fun show here. I don't want to break the illusion, but I just, some of these people, they feel like they're just, they're actors or something. This can't be real. No. Hold on, the people in the comments know Charmaine. Raise your hand if she worked in your school. The best thing high school gave me was this celebrity link. Can't believe I found this video from a YouTube ad. WTF is Mrs. Pullman doing? Bro, I remember her from English. I told her I had a nosebleed right in front of her face and she bought me another worksheet. <laughs> no, Miss Girl, my face is bleeding. I don't need another worksheet. Little bit of advice there for you, Mrs. Pullman. She worked in my school and told my partner and me that we were mentally ill for not crying at the boy in the striped pajamas. Lol Lol says, IDK how you don't cry to that. Maybe just not open to the message. You should be. Okay, it's real. She's real. Charmaine, verified. Fillet or zinger? Fillet, mm. plenty of succulent meat. I specifically ask for all legs and thighs. Well, there's Eric. nothing wrong with a nice pair of thighs, but no. I am a breast man myself. Based. 
What convinced you of your theory? Well, what started to happen was they just started saying it publicly in front of cameras. What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, President of Argentina and so on, said we penetrate the cabinets. I'm going to have to ask you the same question now. What convinced you of your theory? Well, what started to happen is they just started to say it publicly in front of cameras. Was your data included in the data sold to the malicious third parties? Yes. Within um, your waffle, there are, there are a few little salient points that, thank you, that interestingly enough connect to my bigger picture. Okay, now that I've heard your little triflings, I can see how it slots into like a smaller version of my bigger version. Yeah, it's in there, but still a bit of a paltry showing considering you're supposed to be an expert on the subject. It's just completely off the wall. I'll <laughs> give you the answer when this silly man finishes. Okay. First of all, how dare you? Oh, oh okay. Oh my goodness. No, on. Come on. What's happening? What's happening? Seriously, what's going on? Every everyone chill out. I've got a gun! I've just seen that he's got the old turn around here. Okay, yeah, the comments check out. You can tell from that little uh, tidbit that she definitely was a teacher. Pull your jacket out. He's. I like my shirt too. Zoom into my shirt. It's a cool shirt. This is Chinese. This is Tokyo. That's a clown. He's got an all-seeing eye, a pyramid with the eye. That is part of one of the Masonic signs. So is it? He knows what he's doing. I don't know what it is he's exactly doing, but he knows what he's doing. Oh, is it? But I got this off of eBay. I don't know what happened. It just came up on my feed and I thought I have to buy that. Dude, nobody has an eBay feed. That's not a thing. You're a plant. The Illuminati borrowed some of the symbols of Freemasonry. Pyramid, the all seeing eye, and the pent. Pentagram. The one you're looking for is pentagram. Because it frightens. Oh, you're not, right, okay, the okay. Pentagon. Can't we go and think? What's a pentagon? No, pentagon. No, 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 no. You're thinking of this. Uh, you're talking about this. Yeah, pentagram. Yes. Pentagon, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes. So don't ever ask for directions if you need to see the FBI. Wasn't the pentagon named the pentagon because it was a pentagon? No, no, you guys got it mixed up. It's the, it's the star. It's the star one. But... Well, it's a five-sided shape, isn't it? But they weren't okay. going to call it the hexagon, but they ran out of bricks. Okay. <laughs> What are these secret societies? Tell me, how many sides does this now, have? You've mentioned who you think they are. I know. Don't worry, I'll wait. Up the membership. Yes, YouTube HQ. I got a couple of chicken related videos that need to be independently fact checked. Mm hmm. Yes, of course. Use of extreme prejudice would be greatly appreciated. I can kill who? Legally? I don't have to get that on paper, like. But yeah, I'll do it.